Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the home screen tricks on Oppo Reno 14. Okay, uh, so to launch the um, home screen menu, all we need to do is to find the free space on our home screen and simply hold on it. Just like that. Uh, and now in here we can quickly change the wallpaper, we can change the icon style, we can add the widgets, select the layout, change the transition and more. Let's begin with the wallpapers. Uh, that's basically a pretty easy thing. Mm, that's the way how we can quickly uh, get access and change uh, the uh, wallpaper. So in here we have that uh, list, so we can pick the mode that we want or we can always click on uh, more to see uh, and to download more of them. Right in here we have a list, uh, some of those apps uh, require payment uh, so, uh, simply uh, check it out uh, on your own before uh, doing anything. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's how we can simply quickly change the wallpaper. And when we click on the icons, we can change uh, their style. Uh, so that's currently we have the classic. You can take a look how uh, some of the apps are changing. So, for example, I'll select that mode right now. And you can see mm, how, the, uh, how different mm, they look right now. Of course, you can click on custom and uh, do this on your own. For example, you can uh, change their uh, their size and also their shape. If you click on more right in here, uh, you'll be able to download some um, other themes. For example, those, uh, all of them right in here are for free, but uh, some of them might require payment. Okay, uh, also you can change the foreground of the app you can change the icon size. You can enable to adapt system colors. That's how they will start looking. You can enable or disable to show the app names. And you can also change uh, the size of the app name. It's completely up to you. Okay. So that when it comes to that, uh, I'll use the classic mode. Uh, if you want to uh, apply the changes, hit on apply. And that's how you can modify your colors, uh, your uh, icons, my bad. Mm, if you click on the widgets, you'll be able to add the widget of some of the apps. It is really, really useful. And I highly recommend creating some widgets. So for example, we can create a widget from mm, our Chrome, for example, maybe this mode. Uh, and as you can see, it appeared on our home screen. Th thanks to that, we have uh, quick access into the Chrome. We can quickly open up the search bar. We can enable the uh, voice uh, voice searching, launch the incognito uh, mode, mm, use the mm, Google Pictures, uh, the Google Lens, I'm sorry. Uh, also, uh, we can launch the uh, Dino game, thanks to that. Just like that. So widgets are like the uh, shortcuts of our apps. Uh, and we can uh, add them right in here. Remember that um, you need to have enough space to create a widget. Uh, for example, this is four on one, that's its size, uh, and uh, it won't fit uh, on all screens. So for example, in here, uh, some of the apps have to um, be removed to the other screen uh, when I want to place it right in here. Same thing on the main page. You just need to have some, uh, you just need to have enough uh, space on the home screen to uh, place a widget. We also have layouts next to it. Normal mode is four on six, but we can also select five on six. So simply uh, the size of the apps, uh, of the icons will be a little smaller, uh, but thanks to that we will have more space on our uh, home screen, on our page, and we will be able to add more mm, apps. Just like that, pretty easy thing. Hit on apply to save the changes. And next to it, we can also change the transitions. Uh, so currently we have the default mode. Let me show you uh, how it looks. So that's the transition. And that's basically the animation that we have when we are uh, sliding left or right. That's normal animation. And now we can change it. So let's launch the menu once again, select the transitions. And now we have the roll. And here we have a preview how it looks like. We also have the cube. Flip, card, 
and the tilt. So simply select the mode that you want and then hit on apply. I'll uh, select the roll for now, click on done and now you can see that our animation has been successfully changed. So you can adjust uh, even that. Uh, I'll stick to the default one for now, click on, click on apply and as we click on more, uh, in here we can select our home screen style, it can be with drawer or without. Mm, when it's with drawer uh, we have uh, this list of the apps as we scroll to the app side and here we have a list of all our apps. When we uh, change this mode into the second one, uh, we simply won't have that, uh, that drawer. We also have uh, the lock layout option. When we lock it up, uh, we won't be able to move the items on our uh, home screen. So if you want to can enable it, it's up to you. Uh, we also have the double tap to lock. Double tap on any empty space to home screen to lock it up. I'll show you how it works. So find a space where there is nothing uh, that we can tap. Then if you double tap, the screen simply locks. Pretty easy thing. If you want to can enable it uh, back into the home screen uh, also we have also a show search at the bottom if you want we can enable it or disable if you go into the advanced material uh, if you turn it on mm, it will apply advanced blur effects to home screen folders uh, power consumption might increase in here we have a preview how it looks so if you, if you have some folders there will be a little the background of this folder uh, will be a little blurred if you want, you can enable it. Everything is up to you. Uh, and uh, yeah, also we have the app animation speed. It can be standard or the enchanted. In here we have a preview how it looks like. So simply select the mode that you want. I'll stick to the enchant, enchanted for now. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.